Hi folks, you know most coaxials have no adjustment for tracking due to their stable design. But for multi-bladed helicopter tracking, and I know there are many different ways to cut a pizza, so I hope you'll at least like my way find it interesting and enlightening. So that way when somebody starts talking tracking, you can join into the conversation. Hi folks, well today we're going to talk about helicopter tracking because a lot of people have asked me about it. And I'm going to use my uh, stand. Many of you have seen uh, my videos on how to make your own training stand. Uh, maybe you've never seen it in action. But uh, I'm going to show you a couple things. First of all, tracking the blades means, and I've got to tell you, I just took the weight off of this because I've been flying it around with a single rotor blade with no problem. Many of you seen me fly my eSky 900 with one rotor blade, but nothing compares to what Adrian did with it when he decided to fly the T-Rex in full 3D. You can see this amazing 3D flight with one rotor blade from Adrian. He left a video response on my single bladed helicopter video. Okay, when the blades are tracking properly, that means this blade is flying exactly the same height as this blade when it comes around. If one is higher, it will be out of track and you'll have vibration. The first thing you have to do is make sure that the blades are tracking before you try to balance it dynamically. So to do that, my rule of thumb is if, say, this blade is high over here, then I would always raise this which means give it more pitch and in order to do that just have to lengthen this uh, ball length set right there okay I would do one turn at a time because they have forward facing okay once you get them tracking straight then I add electrical tape to one blade at a time until I get it smooth First of all, get it up to speed. This is really good for getting it trimmed and I can trim it so that it's trimmed straight and everything. Here we go, let's just give it a small push. Holding right nose, just like on takeoff, until we get this up to speed. And now I've got it trimmed. I can reach down and actually Change my trim and you can see what happens here as I change the trim on the transmitter and what happens to the helicopter. When I get this thing trimmed straight, I'm good to go. And you can see everything is tracking. Blades are tracking perfectly. Gyro set. That's the way it should look, folks. Hope you enjoy the information, and you know they do this on the real ones too.